Congratulations, as you have made it to the last lesson of www.learnquickbooksfree.com. I hope you've enjoyed the, the tutorial video so far. In this last section, I'm going to show you how to access reports uh, such as company financials, sales reports, uh, AR or AP, which is accounts receivable, accounts payable reports, pretty much any report uh, that would go along with uh, QuickBooks and accounting. And uh, this is going to be our last section, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed once again. So stay tuned. Okay, so in this next segment, we're going to be talking about reports and the different kind of reports you can pull up. So we're going to go up here under reports and um, you know there's so many different types of reports some of them you may not even ever end up using uh, but definitely uh, two reports that you're uh, gonna have to use at least once a year uh, traditionally you would like to look at it once a month or how, however often you'd like to it's gonna be under comp company and financial and the first one is called your profit and loss standard uh, profit and loss standard and balance sheet are uh, basically the two types of reports that you use for taxes uh, if you're a corporation. Uh, if you're a sole proprietor, uh, you most likely won't need balance sheet. You could just do profit and loss. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, profit, and, profit and loss. You have uh, different ways of pulling it up, standard, detailed, year to date, and so on. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the standard, which is most likely what you're going to be using most of the time. Okay? And from over here, you can basically choose whether you want it uh, this month to date, last month. There's a few different criteria here. You could uh, select it by uh, actual dates, a range of dates that you'd like. So there's a few ways to uh, select your report. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up this fiscal year. Okay. Now, as you can see from this report, um, it'll say January through December 2011 even though we're not at December it still will count for the whole year and over here is going to basically start off with the income on the top portion so it'll show you where money came in you can double click on that and uh, basically you can go as detailed as you want into it and you can double click on that and as you can see the actual sales receipt, receipt pulled up so uh, by looking at your financial statements, uh, you can find out whether you're making money, whether you're losing money. Yeah, you can find out where you're spending the most money. So there's a, there's a lot of different reasons why you'd want to pull up a profit and loss, but the bottom line is that you want to know if, you, if your company made money or not. That's the main thing. If you're making money, then you're, you're, you're doing good, obviously. And if you're losing money, then you definitely have to figure out uh, what's going on but that's a whole uh, different story and all together but uh, so here we go so as you can see once again you can pull up so many uh, different options of, of what you could do with your report you could just do last month as you can see the last month will look the same because we just started the business in May uh, so if I went ahead and did April you will see that nothing shows up so uh, that's basically what you would do with the profit and loss. Uh, once again, you can modify the re report so many different ways. This is where you just want to go in and uh, play around with it a little bit. Um, one thing I can uh, show you over here says report basis accrual or cash. Most people will be dealing with cash. So you want to make sure that you are on a, on a cash basis, not on a, on a accrual basis, uh, unless you're doing it uh, on purpose to be on accrual. Um, but this is not accounting class, so you know that's going to be a whole different lesson for a whole different program. Uh, you can add uh, cu customized headers and footers, fonts, so so many different variances of what you can do. Uh, this is where you can just go ahead and play with it a little bit, and uh, you can uh, deactivate uh, all non-zero, so anything that's a zero would not show up on the report. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different things that you can basically do with this report. And anytime you change a criteria over here, you would hit refresh. Uh, you can sort it by total, sort it by default. So 
go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Each report is pretty much the same to where you can play a lot with these different options. You can print it. You can memorize this report. Uh, you can send an email. You can export this. So there's a lot of features. But the main thing is, is you want to pull up reports to take a look at numbers, see where you're spending your money, and so on. So that's profit and loss. And let's go ahead and exit out of over here. And let's move on to the next report. The next report will be the balance sheet. This basically tells you your assets and your liabilities. And it's pretty much giving you the net worth of your company. So over here under balance sheet, uh, usually balance sheet, it's, it's not a range date, but it's as of a date. So as of 6-2, uh, this is how your balance sheet looks like. And we're going to go over this just a little bit. Uh, basically up top is going to show your assets so your checking account is assets because that's money that you have so it's going to show you the balances once again you can double click and you can take a look at a trans uh, the detailed transactions of how we got to that number you could once again you know play with the with, with the date range and so on so there's a lot of different ways of accessing information okay uh, so your total checking savings, accounts receivable, that's money owed to you, that's an asset. Uh, computers, uh, that was an asset. If you remember, we did not expense it, we put it under asset because we actually bought a computer. You have, ec that's uh, part of equity, you, you own that. So it's worth money, so it becomes an asset. Okay, now we're going to look at liabilities and equity. This is money that you owe. So over here under liabilities, pretty much under accounts payable is what you owe right here. And that's total liabilities. And uh, equity, you know, this is a little bit more advanced, but loans payable officer, uh, this is money that the company owes you. Uh, opening balance equity, remember that $2,500 that uh, you started with, so that's money that's owed to you net income that's money that you made so your total equity is this plus the liabilities equals that and uh, total liabilities and equity will always equal total assets so no matter what you do up here it's gonna have an effect down here and those two numbers will always match okay and that basically takes care of company financials once again there's other um, other uh, charts that you can do over here actually let me show you one more report it's called an income and expense graph so you can also do a reports to where you can get different graphs and so on to help you out a little bit more of a visual gives you percentages of where you're spending your money 80 percent 86 percent went towards contract services eight percent went towards printing and production four percent meals and entertainment uh, and bank service charges 98 obviously this is not full right now but you know once you actually do this you'll see more categories over here you see where money is going to whether it's rent or taxes and so on so uh, these graphs are another great tool to kind of give you a visual of uh, where your company is at as far as financials are concerned and then you have uh, project costing remember how we set up those customer job A customer job B that would be under job profitability detail and there you go job A1 and as you can see it pulled up all the expenses and revenues that had to do with uh, that job so uh, this is why you would want to do uh, set up jobs because you can pull up detailed reports on expenses revenue and where you stand with that specific job so that is under project costing, job profitability detail. You know, once again, there's a lot of different reports over here. We're not going to go every single one, but that is the idea on this one. Uh, customer receivables, this is money that's owed to you. Uh, so over here, the you have a few different ways of pulling it up. AR aging summary. Okay, and that pretty much gives you an idea. Okay, and then if the columns are not straight, then you can always adjust it a little bit and put them together and make them a little bit more straight here we go oh, 
All right. I don't know why it's acting a little funky today, but here we go. So, as you can see, uh, you would pull up this report just to make sure that all the accounts are current. Uh, once uh, an account is uh, past due, then it's going to start showing up on 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, and so on. Okay? If it comes to a point where uh, you have someone owing you money and you feel like you're just not going to collect that money, you could send that AR adjustment to bad debt. And that would be under company, make journal entries, and uh, you would go ahead and uh, credit AR and debit um, bad debt. But once again, that's more on the accounting lessons and not so much on the QuickBook lessons. Okay? So this is where you would pull up that once again. Back to reports. You could do it by detail. Uh, you could do it by uh, so many different ways of pulling up ARs. You could do it graphs. So you know, go ahead and play around with uh, these reports and you'll see what kind of information it gives you. Um, and once again, so there's so many different ways of looking at it. So that's for AR. The next one would be vendors and payables. This is money that's owed to you and we're going to be looking at that right now. And that concludes the first part of this lesson. Uh, visit our website to see the second part of this lesson at www.learnquickbooksfree.com